going to golf in our rounds, you know, Mike, these are golf balls, yes, right? Yes, they are. And what are they supposed to do? Fly through the air? I sure hope so. And go to the pin, right? Mm -hmm. All right, we've got that out of the way, golf balls. This is a golf club. Mike, what do you do with a golf club? You smash the ball with it. You hit the ball with it, that's right. It's called, that's why it's called golf. But the thing is, if you're swinging all crazy, like I do at my 54 handicap, and your hands are up here and turned in here, and your shoulders down here, it doesn't work, does it? Not at all, but, but there's ways we can get you straightened out. There are ways we can get you, the golfer, straightened out. And that's why we're here at Nemecole in Woodlands with Mike today to, well, learn how to play better golf, enjoy golf here at the Nemecole and Golf Academy. Mike, what's going on here? Because I see a lot of computers and a lot of things. Well, They're scaring me. Well, we renovated our academy. We opened in May over Labor Day. What we did was we rebuilt the academy in a way where we can be inviting to guests. We can host events, and we can also do that one-on-one -on -one instruction that everyone's looking for. So in our academy, we added four trackman bays. So in each bay, we have a trackman device, which is a Doppler radar. That Doppler radar is going to give us some information that helps us coach our students better, but at the same time, it allows you to play rounds of golf, allows you to play games, and also gives you practice plans that you can work from. On top of that, we also added in a swing catalyst force plate and pressure plate to assist us in looking at the body's movements. And the best part about this facility is our actual driving range outside. We added in two track and radars. So just like the device you see inside, that little orange box, we can go out in the range, connect your iOS device to it, hit balls, you're gonna see your distances to all the flags, and then you'll get a little readout on your phone that tells you your distances with each club. Well, look, I know what you're saying. I don't need all that. I've been playing golf for 30 years and I don't need this young whippersnapper messing with my swing because he's going to screw it up. You're wrong. You do need modern technology. Uh, look, I couldn't even play. Like, my hand's broken. My back's broken. If I didn't have titanium clubs, I'd, I'd be a 700 handicap. <laughs> Technology is helping golfers play better golf. That's why we're here at the Nemecolon Golf Academy today. So we talked about track man, we talked about pressure plates, we talked about hitting balls around. So why don't we go ahead with Mike here and uh, look at the track man, the pressure plates, and see exactly how a high handicap, can you get me on the PGA Tour? Hey, we'll try our best. One, we'll one afternoon, close. one lesson. Hey, never know. All right, his work <laughs> is cut out for him. So let's see how things go here at the Nemecolum Golf Academy. I'm very excited. Let's go find those balls. Well, here we have two different devices. We have our swing catalyst to my left. That's our computer where we're going to measure the body's movement, the pressure, and the weight distribution throughout the feet at setup, throughout the entire swing, back swing, the down swing. We can, we can look at different areas of the swing where we're going to measure where your weight's moving to. Maybe it's to the toes, maybe it's to the heels. There's a lot of counterbalancing that happens throughout your golf swing. And we want to make sure that we're not in the wrong areas. So for example, if I start out on my heels, most likely they're going to move towards your toes. We want to be balanced throughout the golf swing. And our goal is to utilize this device to help you stay in balance and also look at your swing on the video and measure that also with our trackman here. So the trackman is going to be more measuring what the golf ball is doing, what the club is doing and we like to relate that back to our video that we have in our software Swing Catalyst. Certainly, so I have one of my students up here, one of my college players that plays down in West Virginia. As we can see here at his setup, you can see the distribution of his weight from his left foot to his right foot. So right here we can already see that he has a little bit too much on his right foot at address. So typically you're gonna see any high level player be a little bit more favoring the left foot. And the reason that is is because they're gonna try to push off into the backswing. And if you're starting to load up on the right side, it might not allow you to create more force in the downswing to generate that speed. Now as we go throughout the swing, let's just go to the top of his swing, we can see he's pretty centered and at the top of your swing you want to be about 50-50 because you're already started transitioning towards the golf ball. So you think of a player who shifts really well to generate power. We want to see it more that 50-50 at the top so he does a great job with that. Now one thing that he and I were working on was getting him to shift hard into his left foot so he can generate speed and also get him to take divots after the ball. So getting a little bit better low point. So with him, you can see that little, little thing I put next to his foot. He doesn't want to hit that because he tends to flare his right foot out on the way down. So his goal is to shift to the left. And now when we get down to impact, he's 76% of his weight is on his left foot at impact, where before he was struggling to get above 60. So that's actually a tremendous improvement for him. 
So I really like to use this feedback when we're looking at video, just to make sure that his body is moving the right way from the ground up. So here I'm staying on the swing catalyst balance plate. What the swing catalyst balance plate does for us is it measures a person's body movement from address and throughout the entirety of your golf swing. So when I'm standing here, as I move, it's going to capture everything from my toes to my heels, from my left foot to my right foot. Why is that important, Mike? Well, just think of any other sport that we play. Think of basketball. I'm going to Go down with my knees, I'm going to jump and I'm going to shoot the ball. So we're use, utilizing our body from the ground up to create a movement of the, of the basketball. Golf is the same way. If I don't move my legs, I'm not going to generate any speed or stability in the swing. So if I just stand here and swing like this, I might not hit the ball very far. But now if I wind up and I get the pressure moving to the right places, I can then get the ball to do what I want it to do. If I want to hit a draw, I might move more into my right heel and then my toe, left toe on the way down. If I want to hit a cut, it might be the opposite. I might move towards my right toes to my left heel. So I can change where my pressure moves in order to change what the ball flight does. Okay, outstanding. So let's talk about the optimal foot movement. Now every golf swing's different. Every, every Charles Barkley's different from mine, yours is different from Tiger's, etc. What's the optimal foot roll? When, you're, when your feet roll, what does that look like on the pressure plate and on the screen? That's a phenomenal question. So we say there's, there's certainly an optimal movement we'll see from the best players in the world. Everyone's trace is different. So this actually measures how it moves, but there is an optimal movement. So at address, we're going to think we're going to favor the left foot just a little bit more than the right foot. The pressure is going to be more on the balls of the feet at address. Now the movement itself is going to move towards the right heel on the backswing, and then into the left toes on the downswing. So what happens here, if I make that movement, that's more of a power move, we're gonna generate more speed. So we'll see all the best players moving in that direction. And then they're just gonna finish nice and tall, and you're gonna have a little bit of weight in that left heel. Mike Labella, Director of Golf Instruction at the Nemecolon Golf Academy, and today we're going to get on our virtual golf system on hole number five on Shepherd's Rock, and then we'll take you out to the course. So today we're going to be on TrackMan, that's our virtual golf. So what you'll see here behind me, it's uploading right now, we're going to go to hole number five. We'll be able to just practice on that hole, but we can also utilize this system to play rounds of golf. You can play nine holes, 18 holes, par three courses, you can also play games on it. This system is fantastic for improving your game and just beating your buddies every day. Hey Mike, can I play St. Andrews? We do have St. Andrews on here. Well, I play better since I'm here. Oh, you certainly will. <laughs> well, here we're on hole number five on Shepherd's Rock. It's a beautiful hole, a little bit downhill. Got some bunkers, uh, bunkers on the right, and we got open area in front of the green and to the left. Our goal here is just get this ball in the middle of the green and two putt it, because when we have that wind blowing, this ball could go anywhere. So our goal today is put it on in two putt. All right, here with TrackMan, when we're in practice mode, you can select any parameter that you want to see when practicing. So let's say you're working on your club head speed, and I want to generate some more speed off the tee. I can go ahead and click that in the top left corner here, and then you can monitor that throughout the swing. Or I can select my club path. So if I'm working on approach shots and I'm trying to hit little draws into it, I can always put the club path up in the corner and say, okay, is my club path moving in to out? And am I getting the face square so that ball curves back to the target? Well, let's say here we're on our practice mode. In practice mode, I can hit several shots to the green. So if I'm working on proximity to the hole, I can pull out a wedge and hit several shots in from maybe 50 yards to 100 yards, and I can start seeing how close I'm hitting that ball to the hole. So then I can put in feet to the target, and I can start seeing my, my shot pattern around the hole. So if we're working on a dispersion, we're trying not to hit it in those bunkers to the right. We're trying to keep that maybe left of the pin since it's more open over there. This is really a momentous occasion for all of us here at Nemocon.
finally have a cherry on top of the resort. And I truly believe the Shepherd's Rock is just magical. It's a whole change for the golf world to put in entertainment, everything else. It means more than just the golf course today. It really means a rebirth of Nemecon. Out here at the beautiful Shepherd's Rock here at Nemecon and Woodlands Resort. What an amazing course this is. Uh, even just driving up here and everyone just, your neck almost starts to hurt because you look around at all this beauty. A lot of fun to play. The fairways are generous. Where it's tough is the greens. They're really big and they're undulated, which makes it a lot of fun. So people enjoy it. They come out and play. So far, this course is just what Maggie said. It's fun. It's exciting. It's new. Um, definitely, you know, Pete Dye design. It's got those uh, tricky tee shots, and um, but it definitely is scorable. The idea that fun is associated with an 18-hole round of golf that we can't get enough of that. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, we have a great day for it to begin with, but the golf course is immaculate. Uh, nice wide fairways, like they said, makes it fun to play golf again. It's uh, obviously a championship course, and I'd love to see a tournament come here. It's, it's incredible. You need, to, you need to get out here and just experience it, because it's like nothing else. It's a beautiful place. It's in great condition. I know we're one of the first ones to play it, so we're, we're pretty lucky to be out here, and we're looking forward to coming back. You don't often get to hit a green and two on a 619 yard par five. It's nice that it's straight down the hill it makes it pretty fun. Shepherd's Rock is unbelievable. It's just a real honor to get to come play here. One of the first few rounds and uh, love all the statues. There's a hippopotamus at 18, so I shot at three times before I realized it was a statue. Every shot has a scenic view of the area and the course and it's very beautiful. We've had a great time, of course, the staff at Nemecol and the Hardy family. Um, always takes great care of us here, and uh, we're just enjoying it. What a fun, neat track. Fairways are awesome. Greens are so true. A little heaven on earth. It's almost indescribable. You know, it's everything to the max. It's just you can't believe it. The service and the the, the accoutrement and the, the accommodations and the, the, just the property itself. You have to see it to believe it. It's really a fabulous place. Uh, welcome to Nemecon. We are on hole number five. It is mid-December. We got lucky with some weather. It's quite windy out here, but it's about 65 degrees. What we are doing today is we're showcasing a little bit of our signature hole here. Hole number five from this tee box is about 160 yards. We have bunkers to the right. And we have open space short and left of the green. Our pin placement today is middle left. And our goal is to put this ball either just left of the pin or right in the middle of the green. Ideally, our goal is middle of the green and two putt on a day like today. All right, so with this wind going right to left pretty heavily, we aimed it out to the right and just let the wind drift it back towards the target. Right now, we're in line with the pin about 15 feet short of the pin. All right, so after that tee shot, we have about 20 feet here to the hole. It's going downhill and breaking off to the left. What we have to keep track of, since it is December, we do have to hit this pretty firm. The greens are a little fuzzy. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to aim this ball about eight inches to about a foot to the right. I'm going to hit it firm. And we'll see what happens. As you can tell, the greens are quite slow this time of year. So that ball came to a sudden halt. And as the ball slows down, you'll start to see that it starts to break more towards the hole. So if you're out playing this time here, make sure to keep those putts firm. Thank you for coming to Nemecon with us today. We hope to see you here soon. Again, this property is amazing. There's plenty of opportunity to have fun with family and friends.